How's it going guys and welcome to week one Wednesday or as we like to call it Wow <laughs> You live for it, don't you? You I, live for I it. I do. It's I so love good. that part. Today guys on week one Wednesday We're gonna be talking about the best knives of summer 2019 summer's not quite over yet, but uh, we've got a lot of contenders on the table We've got some good ones. Yeah um, and as always, huge shout out to Wee Knives for sponsoring WOW. Um, we couldn't do it without them. If you guys haven't checked out Wee Knives, make sure to check them out. And if you don't know why we sponsoring this is important, hold on to the end. I promise it'll be worth your time. All right, now, as we do with every WOW, we're going to start off with a couple new arrivals. Then we're going to jump into some meat and potatoes. We're going to do a pocket check, then back into the meat and potatoes. So if you're not watching live, uh, you know, go down to the description. We'll have some timestamps. Just choose it up a la carte. However you want to watch it. No big deal. Just you're DJ watching live. That. You're watching live. Thanks for being here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Props. Cool. What's our first new arrival? All right, guys. We all know this one. It's a giant mouse. Ace Biblio. The difference is titanium. Yep. Titanium. Bullet M390. You got your uh, deep carry wire clip. Uh, reversible there. And to be 100% honest, it's what we love. Yeah. It's everything, it's everything that we love. Yeah, it's everything you expect for Giant Mouse in titanium. Now, for me personally, right. not a big fan of titanium scales. For okay. me, uh, they seem they're a little slippery. I, my hands are always dirty. You guys know how it goes. Um, but really, really classes up the knife. So. I think it does too. Yeah. So yeah, you can get this one on the site. Check it out. It's new for right around two hundred and thirty-five dollars. Yeah, around two thirty-five. It's not brand brand new, but we want to make sure. New. You guys saw but that. But it's a hot item. Yeah. Now, more on the brand brand new. We have the Bradford Knives Guardian 3. Uh, this is with the 3D Ghost G10 handles. Now, if you guys know anything Whoa. about... Yeah, it's a, that's a mouthful. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. It's got that wow factor. Yeah, it does. <laughs> now, if you guys know anything about uh, Bradford, they they have the Ghost scales. They have the, the, the 3D version of the scales but they've never done the two together. So this is actually a Blade HQ exclusive and uh, you can get on the website right now. Um, and the Guardian 3 come in a bunch of different blade steels. Yeah. So this one's M390. You can get in a ton of different blade steels. And, and it comes- And shapes. And shapes. And it comes with this uh, this sweet, simple little sheath. So, it's quality yeah, leather cool right one. there. Um, and this one in particular goes for $189 on the website. Nice. All right guys, we've got another new arrival. This is the Steel Will. Chat box. Chat bot? Chat, chat bot. Chat bot. Not chat box. <laughs> Guys, get out of the chat box. Um, this thing is honestly really great. Uh, I've been able to handle it just this past week. We uh, did some photos of them and it's a sweet knife. Um, G10 scales and D2 blade. Yeah. And it comes in green, black, and satin and dark stone wash blade. Yeah. So a couple different uh, yeah, variations. Yeah, a couple variations, and sixty bucks. Nice. And honestly, it's it's really smooth. Steel Wheel has some really great entries, and I feel like they fly under the radar sometimes. But yeah. If you guys haven't checked them out, check them out on the website. There are honestly like some really cool knives. We actually have one of their other knives on the table to talk about for kind of the best knives of twenty nineteen summer. Right. I I've thought about picking one of these up. I I really like it actually. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good it's one. A really good one. All right, and then guys. Little sneak peek for you. Oh man. Not many people have seen this. It barely just hit Instagram. I don't have a date, but uh, we are gonna have some Psy Pops here pretty soon. Ooh. And uh, this one in particular is, I actually don't know the color we're calling this, but I think it might be like Lucas's Technicolor Dream Coat or something like that. Nice, you wanna know what it reminds <laughs> me of? What's that? One of those uh, drug rug hoodies. <laughs> People in YouTube call, or uh, on, in Utah call it that. We just call them hoodies in Vegas. See, I don't, I don't <laughs> or, know. Or like a Mexican blanket. Yeah, right? like a Mexican yeah, blanket. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, so anyway, so these are going to be hitting the site very soon. I think there's a listing on the website. So if you're interested in getting a side pop, you guys know how fast these go. Go sign up uh, for the wish list. We'll make sure you guys hear all about it and know when they're launching. They will definitely go fast. Pretty exciting. And the cool thing about this, other than just the colors, is they're, these are the thick boys. The thick ones. And they're actually calling them the thick version, T-H-I-C-K. I'm gonna have to have a talk with Lucas, because I really think it needs to be T-H-I-C-C. I agree. We'll see how it, lines, we'll see how it ends up. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a sneak peek there. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much if you're just joining us for week one Wednesday. Um, we are gonna be looking at best knives of summer 2019. And uh, if you're just joining us, let us know what knives you guys would like to see on the table. Let us know uh, what's in your pocket and 
What's the first knife on the table? Ooh, the first one might be one of my favorites. Not actually, mine. This is probably his actually, favorite. Actually, let's just let's be real. honest. <laughs> Guys, this is the Benchmade Bug Out, or as I like to call it, the Blackout. So something you guys may not know, not only does he like to call it that, it's actually, Kurt is the reason that this is called the Blackout. So this is a Blade HQ exclusive we got from Benchmade. We launched just recently. And uh, Kurt was playing with it in his chair and he's like, hmm, the Blackout. So uh, you guys can thank <laughs> Kurt for the cool name. <laughs> hey, yeah, and I'm sure I'm the first one that coined that term. Yeah, ever, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> I mean, nobody else thought of that. But yeah, honestly guys, you know the, you know the drill. It's a Benchmade bug out. S30V steel. Um, this one's all black. Yeah, Blade HQ exclusive. Blade and, HQ uh, exclusive. This has been a hot one this summer. Yeah. A lot of you guys have picked this up. We've Big got time. some on the website. If you want to get yours, they're they're pretty rad. Big time. So definitely an exclusive. I mean, I think we've all been waiting for the all black. Yeah. And you can get them for 136. 136 on the website. 136. All right. So uh, changing gears just a little bit from from a bug out. Right. Uh, next up, we've got the Gerber Tri-Tip. So just right out the gate, you know, it comes with a pretty cool uh, sheath. Nice release here that you can go for. Um, and then just uh, just a really standard, fun little cleaver, little fixed blade, blade cleaver. Really nice, thick, full tang stock. Um, it's got uh, uh, polymer handles. And then it's a 7CR blade, so right. nothing super special, but thing's only 30 bucks. 30 bucks. So it's it's just this really neat cleaver knife, right? A lot of guys are using it for camping. A lot of guys are using it for food prep. To be honest, I think I would ditch the sheath. It's a good sheath, but I think I'd ditch the sheath, make a leather sheath, and I'd carry this EDC. Because like pulling this out like anywhere, I think people would be like, what's going on? <laughs> Here, here's what I would use it for. You said uh, camping, yeah, food, food prep, food. yeah, yeah. I would use it as a pancake flipper. <laughs> So, or or the weight is just right. It might be a nice throw. Dude, I think that's the other thing I was gonna say. I think this thing would be so fun to throw, and at thirty bucks and built the way it is, right? Throw it all day. So yeah, maybe on knife banner, we'll have to take it on a field test. We might have to. That'll be <laughs> awesome. So that's the the Gerber Tri Tip. It's going for twenty nine ninety nine on the website. All right. Up next, we've got another favorite. Props to myself on that Spidey mm, flick. That was oh, a smooth, 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 smooth Spidey. Just rewind and rewatch it. Yeah, just <laughs> loop it back. All right, guys, this is the Para 3 um, lightweight edition. It's uh, it's everything that we've always wanted. Uh, you got your FRN handles, your deep carry wire pocket clip, and uh, yeah, you were, you were talking about how you really enjoy the, uh, the jimping on yeah, the thumb ramp. So so I, I love my Shaman, I love my uh, PM2, but the Para 3 is my favorite uh, format, my favorite style right. of Spyderco, currently at least. They've got some new stuff coming out, it's pretty exciting. Um, but what I'm interested to know, so this is the Para 3 Lightweight. Right. So how, what's the weight of the Para 3 Lightweight? Uh, let's see, it's 2.4 ounces. 2.4 ounces on that, and then what's the weight of the bug out? 1.85 ounces. One point, okay, so now, this, this is, I just wanna see you guys, I haven't, you can't, you can't tell the difference. Really? <laughs> Maybe if it's it's really close. It's really I mean, was it like five point five ounces or something yeah, like that? Something it's like really, that. really close. So, you know, with the bug out, you get something that's a little more sleek, right? right? Uh it, it blends in a little bit, and that's the whole point of the bug out. The bug out was kind of meant to be kind of disappear knife, right? Yeah. Um and then with the with the pair of three, you get a little more grip and you get that jumping across the top. So both really, really great knives with their own use and purpose. I mean they're and they're both super light, man. And super light. I mean, they're top sellers for a reason. Yeah, exactly. You know? Everybody yeah. loves them. They're great so. knives. Yep, that one, uh, let's see, the Pair 3 Lightweight goes for $91 on the website. $91 on the website, yep. so great deal. And like I said, that's my favorite Spyderco pattern. That's a good one. Um, okay, so next up on the table, uh, shout out to JKLM Outdoors, uh, I believe on YouTube. Uh, we, were pulling, we were pulling uh, suggestions from you guys from YouTube, Instagram, all over the place. So, uh, JKLM, thanks for the shout out on this one because I it almost got missed. This is the Steel Wheel Tasso. I'm going to say it wrong because I want to say Steel, no, Steel Wheel. Steel Wheel. Yeah, exactly. I've been in Utah too long. Man, I, I <laughs> messed it up too. Honestly, with that new arrivals, I thought, oh man, I yeah, got it. Got to say it right. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyways, uh, this is the Tasso. Um, you know, it's a great knife. Uh, G10 handles, uh, cool color G10 backspacer, nice pocket clip. 
razor sharp M390 blade. I actually own one of these and uh, it was razor sharp out of the box. But the thing that makes it really cool, and the thing that makes it special for the summer of 2019 is it has the ant lock on it. Now we've been waiting for the ant lock for like two or three years now and we finally get it on this knife and it's a rad knife to have it on. Now, um, for you guys who may not know, the ant lock looks kind of like an axis lock or axis right. style lock. Um, you know, it's kind of got that, that movement there, one handed open and close. Um, but the really rad thing about the ant lock is the, the motion's kind of similar to an axis lock, but it's actually a breakable back lock. So it's which, essentially a one handed back lock. Which is extremely interesting. Yeah. I, I didn't know what they were gonna do with this and seeing the mechanism work, mm -hmm. it's honestly really cool. It's really, really neat. Um, so with the new format on Knife Banner, we're hoping that we can also get this out in a field test and do some lock tests for you guys to see how the ant lock holds up to other locks. But I have one, I really enjoy carrying it. Um, and like I said, we've been waiting so long, It was just it's just so fun that it's finally here. Yeah, right? yeah um, and, cool. it, and it doesn't disappoint. It's a good one. Yeah, and uh, that goes for uh, $169.99 on the website. And hopefully the Antlock will see that on more steel wheel products. Is that right? Steel wheel nice. products in the future. <laughs> oh man! Next, let's talk some Kalashnikovs. Dude, you can't talk <laughs> the best knives of summer 2019 without talking Kalashnikovs because they're just summer fun. I agree. Right? Summer plus, fun. Plus all the bright colors reminds me of some snow cones or miscellaneous mm. beach adventures. Yes. Yes. You miscellaneous know. beach <laughs> adventures. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, Okay. Every, everything you guys love about the Kalashnikov, we just love to play with the colors on these things. Um, obviously, we're continuously coming out with new colors. Purple maybe in the mix. Oh, no, not maybe. Purple's happening. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. What's What are the names of these? Oh, man. So this is Tyranny Teal. This Bl is the Blue, Blue Scorpion. Blue Scorpion and the Green Mamba. Green Mamba. Green Mamba. Guys, these things are awesome. You yeah. guys know the drill. If you don't know the drill, go watch our uh, our video we did on Kalashnikovs, yeah. and you'll be like, yep, sold. For $42.95, you're hard pressed to find an auto that will take as much abuse and hit as hard as I these mean, do. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah. Pow! Exactly, exactly. It's um, got some force. Yeah, so these are always great, and uh, I'm actually interested to know if people have Kalashnikov collections. I was wondering the same thing. Because we have so many variations. So if you have a really awesome uh, Kalashnikov collection, use hashtag BHQ collection, submit it to that hashtag, and we will feature it on Knife Banner. We'll give you a shout out. I, I would just love to see no, that'd be cool. a bunch of rad Kalashnikov. I'm sure lineup. it's taste the rainbow, yeah. rainbow of colors, right? <laughs> exactly. All right, so next up we have uh, the Wii Miscreet. Now this is a Brad Zinker design, um, full titanium construction with uh, you know titanium lock bar and a stainless steel insert, nice milled pocket clip, and uh, S35VN blade steel. Um, really nice and smooth, really nice and slim. That's the other awesome thing about this knife. It's very pretty. Yeah, very pretty. And it's a slim knife, but it's, it feels substantial, right? right? Like just a little bit of uh, jimping across the back of the blade, and even though it's thin, it goes in the hand, it feels really good. I've actually never held this yeah. knife. And this is also another light one because of all that, the holes in the, in the, the handle. The milling. Oh, that is nice. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know what visually it kind of reminds me of? Hmm. But it's totally next level. Right. The M16. It does. It, with the CRKT with, M16. With the milling, it looks a little bit like that. But, but then you got that Brad Zinker flair that you're like, oh, oh okay, man. yeah. This thing is seriously butter. Mm -hmm. I, I'm really impressed with this. Wow. Yeah. It's a really good one. That's cool. Um, and to be honest, guys, so this is a, a great entry for Best Knives Summer 2019. Uh, we really love this. We always does a great job. Um, but if I'd had one, I probably would have shown the Ferrum Forge. What was the name of it? The Ferrum Forge Malice. Malice. But you guys bought them all. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we'll have more soon because that on, Malice guys. was beautiful. It was so good. Let's <laughs> save so, some for us. No, I'm just kidding. Buy them all. <laughs> so the, yeah, because if you guys don't, we will. <laughs> right. Um, so the uh, miscreant goes for two thirty three seventy five on the website. Okay, up next, let's talk some Leathermans. You wanna talk some Leathermans? Let's talk some Leathermans. I was checking in, uh, I got uh, Trevor's watching you guys on the the uh, conversation right now for the live video, so I was checking in to see if you guys had anything to say. Anything, anything worthwhile? Uh, Timothy Miller says those Kalashnikovs slap hard. He got one for himself and a friend in Desert Warrior, of course. 
Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah, we got a little bit of Desert Warrior flavor on the table for you guys, too. Dude, I like how he said they slap hard. They slap hard. I mean, it really is like... <laughs> okay, let's talk Leathermans. Leatherman Free Series. Mm. Now, I have the T4, which is the pocket knife tool, and you have the... This is the P2. P2, and which is the plier right. tool. Right? Now, you guys have probably seen these on the channel, um, but it's a one-handed magnetic system that Leatherman's come up with. So it makes the entire multi-tool one-handed. You can access anything you need and close it, lock it, everything one-handed. Now, I've seen a couple of reviews floating around YouTube of these things, and I'm seeing guys pull them out of the box and be like, eh, I don't like this, this, and this, and this. But they didn't like put it in their pocket. And I think that, especially with a multi-tool, I think with knives, you can pull them out of a box and you can get a pretty good impression. Right. With a multi-tool, you gotta use it, beat it up. I had one of these in my pocket for over a month. I use it to, well, not solely, but I use it to help me rewire a house, right. rebuild a motorcycle, uh, a bunch of camping and truck stops along the way, a bunch of crazy stuff. And I, honestly, this P2 is an, an essential piece of kit for me now. I love it. So this was uh, a little challenge for me. Yeah. I'm trying to get the, the tweezers out one-handed. Oh, you this. can get the tweezers out one-handed. The this. question is, can you put them back one-handed? One-handed. Oh, let me go tweeze something. Right. Squish, squish. <laughs> squish, All right. squish. <laughs> what are you tweezing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Squishy stuff. Oh, dude, got it back one-handed. Boom! Nice. One-handed. Even the tweezers mm. are one-handed. Now, with the... Uh, so, the I love the P-Series a ton. With the T-Series, I haven't got to carry one of these yet. Right. Um, and I like the fact that it's all one-handed. I like the fact that it locks. I like the pocket clip. It's a little bit different to other pocket tools you might find. Um, this one's a little thick, I think, for me, for my pocket. Um, I think I'd probably throw in a backpack or something like that. Personal. There you go. So yeah. It is a little thick. It, that This one has 12 tools. Yeah, 12 tools. And uh, I think that's pretty cool for a yeah. pocket knife tool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, not a bad deal. And what does that go for? Uh, $60. 60 bucks. And on then the, website. the P2 goes for 120 on the website. Okay. So. Yeah. There you go. Some Leatherman love. And uh, that was Sergeant Savage uh, made the suggestion for us to throw the, the Free Series in, um, which I'm glad because I, I really love the Free Series. And I, if you guys haven't tried them out, you got to try them out. He's a savage. He's a savage. <laughs> All right. Uh, so next up, we have the Hinder Knives. This is the Neves Balasong. Um, you guys know I'm not a flipper. I'm not trying to cut myself on camera, Don't especially do not when we're live. So we're going to be nice and safe. <laughs> so this comes with a S35 VN blade, nice milled titanium handles. Um, and you know, again, you guys know I'm not a flipper, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you this is the best ballad that was ever made. Uh, I'm not going to tell you, oh, the balance is incredible. I literally don't know. Like, I, you know, I, I know when I feel a nice belly and an okay belly. This one feels nice. Um, but it's we, smooth. It's really smooth. Right. Um, but we, uh, you know, we throw a ballet comp at Blade Show, the biggest uh, ballet uh, competition in the world. And a bunch of those dudes who were like pros, they came by the booth, they flipped some of these hinder knives and they really liked them. Um, so these are like top level dudes winning like, you know, thousands of dollars of prize money and, and ballys and stuff. And they like the hinder ballet. So I think it's a pretty good endorsement. Do you want to know what ballys remind me of? Hmm. When I was a kid, I used to watch Bruce Lee movies mm -hmm. and I had those foam nunchucks. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd be like, wah, 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 wah. Were they yeah. the ones that had the dragon, the gold dragon on yes, it? Yes, the gold dragon. Yes. Oh my gosh. Let us know if you guys had the gold <laughs> dragon foam nunchucks. It's an important part of being a kid. I, I hope <laughs> that everyone has been able right. to participate yeah. in that. And it, it translates straight into ballys. Right into ballys. Right into ballys. Right. Um, so yeah, so anyways, uh, 410 for the hinderer ballet. So my first experience with ballys was actually my dad had like a bench made balisong, like a oh wow, what was it balisong company or whatever bench yeah. used to be called, and it was like bronze handled, and uh, that's actually where I, I learned the two tricks that I know I learned on that. Nice, so that's pretty cool. That's cool. Um, that's very cool. All right, guys. So now we are at the point in WoW where we're gonna do a couple pocket checks. So, like I said, let us know uh, in the comments what knives you guys would like to see on the table. We'll uh, have our magic elf bring them in here in just a minute, and let us know what's in your pockets, and we'll give you guys a shout out. So, start off. What's in your pocket today? I've got two. Okay. One is in my pocket and mm -hmm. one is out of my pocket. Okay, that's Let's fair. Let's start out of my pocket. Out of the pocket, okay. <laughs> I have got the Battle Horse Knives Frontier. Mm -hmm. That's this, a great one. This is a cool one. I added a little leather on there because you know me, I'm leather. Yeah. I, that sounded weird. Don't, don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> Kurt's leather. Guys. Yes. <laughs> let's uh, rough but supple. Let's move on. I love that fixed blade. <laughs> and the Rat Two D 
steel or the or the r2d2 <laughs> and that was new to me i saw some comments just recently about why we didn't have the rat 2 in the uh what was it uh so we did a knife banner that was best bang for your buck knives. right and and you guys were a lot of you guys i mean fairly were like where's the rat 2 it's an incredible budget knife and it is we always want to bring you guys, you know, trying to bring something fresh, you know, something you guys haven't seen every time. And there's so many great knives. We try to hit the whole gamut of them. But a lot of you guys were like, where's the Rat 2D2? And a lot of you, R2D2. R2D2. It was great. I so it's awesome. Kirk got one. <laughs> I, I seriously love it. I I love it. Yeah, and you got so a Rat smooth. You love your Rat Fix Blade. Yeah, the Rat I have three. a Rat 3 Rat fix. 3, yeah. Yep. Cool. But it's a good one. Right Saves on. in my pocket. Right on. Um, all right, so we've got a couple call-outs here. Um, PD... P3T3 said he has a launch 10 in his pocket, or he wanted to see a launch 10. I don't know which one. Um, Jay Cold says he has a Chavez Ultramar green micarta in his pocket. Oh, it's a good, you got good taste, Jay Cole. You got good taste, buddy. Beautiful. Um, and then Chris Rivers. Oh, no, no, no. McKay Kennedy. Don't worry, Chris Rivers. I'll get to you. But McKay Kennedy says he's got a boat for Mermaid. So yes. he's got our grail knife. Oh, my God. Neither of us own one yet because we got to earn it in the department. You can't just buy one here. So. We're jealous. My man. <laughs> and then awesome. uh, Chris Rivers says he's carrying the Kershaw Lincoln M390. Um, and he said he just got one from us the other week. When you're talking about best bang for your buck knives, yeah. that Kershaw M390 knife, Link, that may be the best it, bang for your buck currently it, available. It really is It's so such good. a good one. So um, good. But anyways, Logan has been running around grabbing knives that you guys wanted us to have on the table. So, uh, Logan, how's it going, buddy? Good, how are you? Yeah, you had a breath running around. Are you feeling good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spry. <laughs> Spry. All right, since you're here, what do you got in your pocket? Uh, no surprise Ooh. here. Guys, almost everybody's got one of these in their pockets at Blade HQ right now. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this is, like, my new favorite. It's the Oof. Elementum. We're actually, Sweet. it's actually on the table, guys. It's We're going to get to that one. Yeah, yeah get yeah. to that. So, it's a good one, man. It's a good one, right? It's such a good You night. digging it? Yeah. Nice. It's a good one. Cool. That's well, awesome. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Yeah, man. All right, let's see what uh, let's see what you guys wanted to look at here. All right. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Sweet. I see. I see how we're doing it. I see how we're doing it. Okay, so um, sp Spud to color seventeen twenty seven. Uh huh. Anyways, Spud to color. You know who you are, buddy. Uh, he Spud wanted to see the uh, Microtech UTX. Uh, this is the double edged OTF, and this one is kind of cool because it's uh the uh, like depressed, yeah, just dis distressed, oh, distressed, not depressed, because yeah. it's not sad. It's look not how happy depressed. it is. Look, it's stoked. Look how look how snappy and happy it is. <laughs> distressed, uh, UTX eighty five. Um, honestly, when it comes to when it comes to OTFs, the yeah. UTX eighty five is my favorite size. It it honestly is one of the best sizes. Yeah, it really is. And then when we're talking Microtech, I mean, and we we say it all the time, like this is the blueprint for what an OTF should be. So right. great choice. Great flavor. This one also comes in a light blue. Distress. It does. Oh yeah, you just did some pictures yep, of these. It does. Some images. Yeah. Um, and that goes for two thirty-seven on the website. What else? Oh, is this the H one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This oh, is yeah. the salt. Okay, yeah. guys, we got the Dragonfly two salt. This is actually a really cool knife. If you guys haven't held one of these Dragonfly twos, you need to get your hands on one. It is so small, so light. Back lock. A uh, reversible pocket clip, the deep carry wire, and this thing is sweet. Especially if you're like some people in the summer, you go to the beach, mm -hmm. or you go fishing, camping, water, even just all swimming. Like what doesn't get any of it? Yeah, this thing is solid. The H1 performs yeah. amazingly. If you guys really haven't, does. if you guys haven't seen the salt video we did where we tested these out, check it out because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a good video. Yeah. Awesome, and that was Crypto Lane thirty four. Thanks, man. For yeah, sending that one. and that goes for sixty six thirty on the website. All right. Uh, next up, we've got John Duncan. He wanted to see the Liang Ma Lanny Flipper. So this is an M three ninety blade. Um, I believe this is a micarta uh, burlap. Mic yep, uh, this is a, a micarta. I don't know if it's burlap, but it looks like it is. So micarta handle or micarta scales, uh, titanium bolster. And then on the back side, we have the titanium frame lock with a stainless steel insert, these really cool blue accents, and that milled pocket clip. I like that, the yeah. anodized collar. Yeah. Well, and again, when we're talking about steel will kind of being a, uh, I have to say it slow every time, uh, kind of being a sleeper brand, I think Liang Ma as well. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Liang Ma stuff, you should. There's incredible stuff from Liang Ma. 
So this is another great addition to that. It's a good grail piece. Yeah, it is. It is. How and, much uh, is that one? It's uh, 415 on the website. So, cool. um, and that's kind of where Liang Ma operates. He operates kind of in these higher end, really nice, really premium EDC knives. Right. They're they are very nice. And the other cool thing about this is is it looks kind of chunky. It looks kind of heavy. Feel how light that is. That's not bad yeah. at all for like how big it is, um, or you know how fat it seems. It's a really nice light knife. Yeah, I like that. That's yeah. cool. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Who, who Vas, Vas Vlastaris. Vas Vlastaris wanted to see the Rainy Val, Valden Prototype Warlike Apprentice. I, that's a lot of words. Um, might, it might be an auto? <laughs> we got it. Oh, oh my go. gosh. That was terrifying. <laughs> Please don't cut yourself. <laughs> I, here. I don't know how. <laughs> All right, oh guys. My God. Uh, <laughs> So this is a uh, Velotin knife. Wow. Uh, this is a prototype that we have on the website right now. It goes for right around 1700 bucks. So obviously this is a, a custom prototype. It's I want that. Really incredible. Um, it's got uh, mammoth handles with these um, incredible bolsters. Oh, that's cool. Really unique and intricate backspacer there. Um, just kind of a cool piece. Yeah, it's not, not integral. Yeah, I think that's a backspacer. Just a really cool piece all the way around. Um, and then obviously this really unique and interesting uh, Damascus blade as well. That is seriously impressive. <laughs> it's a cool. One. I didn't even know that was on the site. That's a really cool. So one. let's see if I can boss, figure out. There's a um, with these. They're usually a liner lock to close. Yeah. So a liner lock to close. Oh man, open it. We gotta open it one more time. No, I don't. I don't think I can even get it all the way closed. There we go. All right. Do it. Yes. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> that's really fun actually. That so, is awesome. So you're talking about grail knives. There's a grill knife for you. That thing is <laughs> super sweet. All right. That's cool. And then uh, don't worry. If you're thinking about buying it, we'll, we'll wipe off our hands <laughs> after, right. after the banter's over. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Um, so crazy. Now, uh, just checking in really quick. Let's see. All right. Um, and then just to show you guys what's in my pocket today, I've got my, uh, my handy dandy pen, that I, paper mate pen that I always have on me. Um, I actually just got a uh, Big Idea Designs pen that I'm loving, and I'm trying to figure out how to make the cartridge from this one work in that one. So soon, you guys will actually see a different uh, pen in my pocket. If you guys know the hack, yeah, send yeah. It. If you know the hack, let me know in the comments because I'm still trying to figure it out. So I should just reach out to them. They're good dudes. I should just reach Seriously. out to them. They tell me how to do it. Um, and then I've got uh, it's not a prototype, but not released yet. We're doing some testing on this one right now. This is an MKM. Can't remember the name, but it's a Vox Nest design. Yeah. <laughs> These will be coming out in the fall sometime. Uh, it's got a, um, uh, this is a polymer handle with a aluminum backspacer, anodized, um, awesome wire deep carry pocket clip, and then it's an N690 blade steel. And I think they're going to go for like 80, 45 bucks. Oh, so sweet. Great, great little knife. And they come in a couple different flavors, colors, blade shapes, all that. I really like those two colors together. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, they're good. Um, and then I'm not going to dig it out, guys, but I have my Victorinox Compact on me, as always. And if you don't have one, you should get one. <laughs> All right, so that's what we have for Pocket Check. Sweet. Yeah. Let's jump back into what some of the best knives of summer 2019 are. Uh, kicking off with... Oh, oh we're, yeah, we're, right. we're in a good we're right place here. right now. This is the Civivi Elementum. Like... Uh, like Logan had, mm -hmm. it's a great knife. And this thing, I know we talk about we and Civivi having great action, great blade centering, but guys, I really can't get over how good it is. I don't know if we can get a close shot of that, but. Well, and the interesting thing about it is we actually had a YouTube comment where, um, well, first off, I promise you guys, you guys are gonna see the Civivi Elementum a ton until you buy them all because they're so good you guys should have one. I'm not even, and it, I'm not even giving it hype. Like nobody's paying me to say this. I really think this knife is incredible. G10 scales, D2 blade, 50 bucks, and it's just carry pocket clip. smooth as butter. But anyways, we had a comment where somebody was like, "Well, you know, every knife should always be centered. That's a that's a low bar to pass." If you guys have bought even a handful of knives, you know they don't always come centered. Sometimes you have to tune them up. Right. Um, but I've never once pulled a Civivi out of a box and had to tune it. It's always perfect right out the box. Another thing I really love about this knife is some of the Civivis 
in the past have been a little loud in yeah. colors and color combinations yeah. and we've always said we love the action fit and finish kind of shiny gas station yeah, but they looked a little gas station at the beginning right they're listening <laughs> they're they are listening and i think this is a very sleek classic design that will be around for a long time totally and you can get those for fifty dollars on the website mm. And then they've got uh, wood version ones that you can get for like 60 65 Right, and a different color G10. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, uh, next up we've got some Victorinoxes. Uh, and I'm not going to say anything more about the compact, but when we're talking best knives of summer 2019, um, we've got some exclusive knives that we've done that we're super stoked on. So this one actually launched last fall, but we just restocked recently so you can get a NAF Blade HQ knife. <laughs> And then we've okay, got the squeeze in there. beautiful mermaid. My big fat ham fingers. <laughs> Your Christmas ham, Christmas ham fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever commented in the last knife banter right. cracked me we up. Had a, we had a good laugh about that. Call my hands Christmas hands. That is literally <laughs> what they are. So, so anyway. we've got the, the beautiful uh, mermaid. This is a Blade HQ mermaid. Just to answer the sirens calls, guys. Um, if these aren't available on the website, they will be available soonish. We're gonna definitely do a reorder on those. And then we've got a handful of these um, Lobo Loco Lobo Lo Loco styles. And uh, all these designs you see on the table and a bunch more that are coming are actually from our graphic designer, Sean. So Sean's actually running the B cam right now. So Sean, say hi to the- I am, hey guys. <laughs> wah, 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 Szechuan Sean. <laughs> and, uh, on top of these really rad ones that we have going on, just like close your eyes and picture like your favorite, like, you know, like YouTube knife person or gun person. We're probably gonna do a Victorinox with them. So <laughs> a lot of fun stuff coming your way. It's gonna be good. A lot of fun stuff coming your way. Cool. Uh, let's see. This one is from Thurber Stanley. He wanted to check this one out. It's the brand new. Mm. Guardian Tactical Recon Elite. And this thing. It's so big. It's a hog. <laughs> Holy cow. But it's still so smooth. So smooth. And honestly, it's, I mean, that's left hand and it's just butter. Yep. It's cool. I don't know if you guys can see the detail here. Recon Elite, standard issue. It's got a badge on there. This thing is, it's like the Recon on steroids. Yeah, it's liter <laughs> it's literally a recon on steroids. It's like a recon was like, you know what, I'm just gonna cycle trend real quick. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, you still get your ball bearing slider and I mean, this thing packs a punch. Yeah. L Max Steel, which is really cool. Is this I, one L Max? This one is this L Max. One L -Max. Yep. Cause, Cause that's the other cool thing is Guardian Tactical started using L Max in a lot of their blade steels now. Right. So you can get a, a normal recon in L Max as well. Right. Yeah. These things are cool, guys, and it's a big boy for mm -hmm. uh, $400 on the website. Let me let me fire that thing. Yeah, it's good. Like, it's just so smooth. It's so easy. I love it. Yeah. Ah, it's a good one. It's cool. That's a good one. All right, so uh, another cool one that we have that uh, is, you know, one of the hot knives summer 2019 is the MKM Clap. Now, this is a Bob Trizola design. Um, you got your titanium bolsters, my card handles, because of course I'm going to grab a knife off the shelf that's going to have my card on it. Obviously. Uh, this one is a Blade HQ exclusive, but we have a bunch of different variations. Um, kind of some neat color accents with the back spacer and the pocket clip. Um, and then, uh, you know, just a, just a great little knife. Uh, M390 blade, and these things come razor sharp out of the box. I, it's an interesting blade yeah, shape. An interesting blade shape, but not obnoxious. Yeah, I feel like sometimes uh, when a maker is trying to do something a little bit different with a blade shape, you're like, yeah, no, like I'm not going to sharpen that. I don't want to own that. But uh, this is, I actually think, a fun variation on a blade shape. Right. Yeah. Um, and then this also has a removable flipper, you can see there. And that removable flipper is if you live in a place that doesn't allow uh, knives that aren't two-handed, you can take the flipper off and then you can, it's got a nail nick in it, and you can open it with two hands. So cool. kind of cool one. And the clap. Uh, the clap. So, you know, we've had a lot of questions about the name of this. We actually had Igor from MKM Knives come on, did a special knife banner with us. This is an epic story. I'm not going to tell it here, though. You're going to have to tune into that knife you gotta banner. you got to tune in. Because I promise you, the story is a ton of fun. It is. It's <laughs> really good. So you guys will finally learn out why this is called the clap. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> 
250, right? 250? Uh, yeah, and that goes for 250 on the website. Again, there's a couple different variations. Make sure I to totally check them out. I totally cheated and looked at his paper. Ah, oh, he cheated. He's a cheater. <laughs> um, we got a couple shout outs here. Uh, A-Ray said, oh, he said, Zach's mermaid video was epic. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, if you guys haven't seen our newest knife banner, which was episode one, season two of Knife Banner, check it out. I went mermaid hunting. It was a lot of fun. The dive. I was so impressed with the dive. <laughs> when I saw it, when I saw it the first time, I was like, dang. One take, one take, man. All one right. take. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Um, and then uh, Jackson Hagley said, uh, what are your favorite handle materials? Love your videos. So let's just take a second. What what are your what are what top three favorite handle materials? Micarta. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, really, one. I really, my carta, my no, carta, my, my carta. carta. <laughs> my carta is probably one of my favorites. Yeah, I do like FRN just because it's so light mm -hmm. and it's very durable. Yeah, um, I would probably also say some exotic woods. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think that's Coca true. Bolo and you do like you do like your Coca Bolo. It's kind of cool for yeah. sure. For I, sure, gives it that classic taste. Yeah, you know? I I think I would go uh, my carta G10. And then uh, pol some polymers. The um, the the benchmade the bug out is actually sold me on a polymer handle. Before right. this, I probably would have never went polymer, but uh, the benchmade sold me on it. So those would probably be mine. Um, or a good textured aluminum, but it's hard yeah. to get a good textured aluminum. A milled aluminum. aluminum. Yeah, I yeah. mean the funny thing is, is like you look at the Kalashnikov, and this is the way that they do the aluminum on these. Yeah, I like it. It's grippy enough. Yeah, but I hate a knife that slipped out of my hand. I can't stand it. So, um, yeah, so thanks for the question, uh, Jackson Hagley. All right, cool. Uh, what do we got next? I have a bull trout over here. Oof. Oof, you guys know Top. I've been crushing on this bull trout. <laughs> Top's bull trout. Uh, comes with a little whistle. Don't use it unless you it's really happening. Uh, leather sheath, and let's be honest, this thing is a very interesting design. Yeah. Tell me where the design came from. Yeah, so um, the design for this was actually an in-house design from Topps Knives. They do design every year. They have a contest. And this year was an EDC fixed blade. And so they opened the contest to everybody in the company. It doesn't matter if they've ever designed a knife or not. Hmm. And uh, I can't remember who it was that won it, but it was, I think it was our shipping guy. I met him at, at Blade Show and I feel so bad for remember for Martin either. Marula. Martin, yeah, Martin. Martin's a great dude. Martin, if you're watching this, you're a great dude. I love this knife. Anyways, he designed this knife. He won the contest and then they made it. It's like super so cool. And this is really the first cool. knife he ever designed. Um, he's a huge fisherman and that's kind of what he designed it around. And hence the bull trout, hence the 154 CM blade because you get uh, more stainless blade than Topps usually uses. And then the micarta because when micarta gets wet, it is easier to grip. I was very interested when I first saw this. One, the burlap style micarta just screamed for my attention. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, what the? Look at that finger choil. Mm -hmm. And then I put it in my ham hands. <laughs> My hams. My I hams. put it in my hams. <laughs> and that thing just fits so well. It really does. The jimping looks pretty aggressive, but it's actually pretty good on my thumb. Yeah. Like, you don't get crazy hot spot. Yeah. It's it's just good purchase all around. So me and Jamie actually took this. Uh, we went backpacking recently up to High Alpine Lake here in Utah. And I took the bull trout along and I did uh, feather sticking with it, camp prep, that type of thing. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than what I would normally take, but I wanted to test it out. And I loved it, man. It, it was great. I don't, I've never EDC'd a fixed blade, um, but I, this, I got this knife specifically to make a sheath for and EDC carry it. So I'm, I'm stoked to, on this one a lot. It's, it's really, really cool. $110 on the website. 110 bucks. And when we're talking compact fixed blades that have come out in the summer of 2019, this thing steals the show, I think, all the Absolutely. way around. Absolutely. If, if you guys have one that you've liked better, let us know. But man, this one just caught my eye. Yep. I love it. Made in the USA. Yeah. Tops, tops are awesome. Yeah. Bull trout, I think it's here to stay. Uh, okay, so next up we have the um, Sink of Inch designed. <clears throat> this is the Spyderco Drunken. Um, you've got the carbon fiber, carbon fiber handle on this side. Uh, CPM S90V blade. Then on this side, you have that beautiful milled titanium um, with the uh, stainless steel insert. Uh, kind of a unique pocket clip for yeah. Spyderco. You don't see that style of pocket clip very often on Spyderco. And then, you know, all the really neat little uh, anodized accents, like on the back and, and I mean, the, the sides. I look at that thing and I'm like, yep, that's that's a, a safe queen or a more of a grail knife. Yeah, this is, this is a... 
or just a classy EDC knife, right? right. Like if you're looking for a high-end gentleman's knife, <clears throat> this would be a really great one. Now, the reason it's called the Drunken is the carbon fiber has the Drunken pattern on this side, and then it has a Drunken pattern on the titanium side on the back as well. So that's kind of why it has that unique pattern in it. And the, the thing that I like about that is, to be honest, guys, I don't like carbon fiber scales. Um, okay. There's a lot of knives I like that have carbon fiber scales on them, but that would be a point against the knife, right? Um, but this, the way that that is milled in there, the way that tech is texturized, it feels really good. Like, I feel like this wouldn't <laughs> slip out of my hands. And so I really like it. So this reason. might be a little silly, but I could sit there and look at this thing all day. Yeah. It <laughs> yeah. is, it's seriously, it plays like tricks on your eyes. You like have, you have like a, and... you have fidget knives. This would be a looking knife. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Very different from Spyderco, but yeah. I like it. It's a yeah. good one. Now, and uh, you know, as we mentioned, guys, this is definitely kind of on the higher end of things. You have a very premium steel, very unique designs. Uh, so this goes for about four hundred nine fifty, for about four hundred ten on the website. Um, but just a stellar knife. It, it's cool. It's really cool. And that was actually uh, Eric B on Instagram. He suggested that one, and we were like, "Yeah, no, that's definitely a hot EB. knife." Great good old EB. EB. So I have one over here. Do we want to do this now? Oh, wait, let's hold on that. Okay. Here, I'm going to trade you up a little bit, buddy. Ooh, here, do it. Here. There you go. All right. Trust me, the, the one we have that's last, guys, you're going to want to, This is, it's worth being last. It is. <laughs> All right, so uh, we've got a ProTech Les George SBR. This one is the Desert Warrior pattern, Blade HQ exclusive. Um, it's got the uh, S35VN blade. Aluminum handles with that really awesome milled texture that I've just yeah. been loving. Super snappy ProTech action, made in the USA, great warranty, and then a really nice deep carry pocket clip. Now, um, it also, because it's a Blade HQ exclusive, it comes with this really neat collar that's on the ProTech box. And uh, I think it just looks sharp, man. I it really does. like what they've done with with the uh, kind of the exclusive launch yeah, there. The packaging yeah. is really and cool. And usually we don't show off packaging, but this one's, I think this one's a little special. Yeah, that um, is cool. So anyway, so this one's on the table because these SBRs are awesome. And they were, they've been kind of a little available, but not really till the summertime. So if Desert Warrior's not your color, <clears throat> check out the website. We've got a bunch of SBRs on there. And uh, I haven't bought a ProTech yet. And it's because I'm worried I'll break the tip. A lot of ProTex, that working edge is um, either the knife's not the right size for me, or it's like a godson or something, and I'm worried I'll break the tip of the knife. Right. This SBR, I'm just in love with. That's um, a good one. And it's it's one I have to save my pennies for because I bought the bull trout, I bought the I bought the elementum, I'm buying a couple knives. So <laughs> saving my pennies up for the SBR, but it's really it's a rad one. I mean, sometimes you just gotta sell your soul yeah. to get a knife. <laughs> Don't sell your soul. Don't sell your soul. That's... But you know, like you know, if you have to, you know, just like eat some ramen for a couple of days, it's fine. Right. That ramen never hurt no one. Uh, I totally <laughs> agree. And that goes for uh, one eighty four ninety five on the website, guys. All right, guys. This is a new one, isn't it? This is a brand new. This one. is brand new. Now we saw this at Blade Show. <clears throat> this debuted at Blade Show. Um, but this, I mean, we literally barely just got this. But it's a ZT, it's a different style ZT than we've seen from them in a long time. Yep. So we had to throw it in because summer's not over yet. So we had to throw it in. <laughs> At Lucas Russell, he's the one that wanted to see it. Yep. So we popped it in there for him. This is the 0223. Um, it's very much a tactical looking knife, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, you got big jimping, the, the see-through, the hole right here in the blade as your nail nick. But let's be honest, it's a ZT, and it it just yeah. butter. Yeah, it's a ZT. I mean, butter. made in the USA, incredible warranties. Um, you know, the, the interesting thing with this is I heard from a lot of you guys out there that a lot of guys didn't like the look of this one. Really? Which I think is interesting. It definitely deviates from a lot of the way that ZT looks now. Yeah. And this has the 20 CV blade on it. 20 right? CV. Yeah, it has yep. a 20 CV blade, so it has their upgraded blade that they're doing on all their knives now. Um, it definitely has a bit of a different look, but to be honest, I love ZT knives, but they're all carbon fiber or titanium handles. Yeah. So I've never got one. I might get this one, like because it's it has cool it's more grippy. And this yeah. is a G10, right? On the yeah, G yeah. G10 with titanium. Yeah. Mind if I? Yeah, go ahead. I haven't, I haven't touched it since Blade Show, so. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Why, I don't know why people were were so upset. Let us know in the comments what you guys think of uh, of this new ZT. I kind of dig it. I like it. I so, do too. Yeah. I dig it. It's something different from what they've been doing. Yeah. And I like that. Yeah. And they're a hard use, they make hard use knives. They make kind of that tactical knife. 
and I feel like this fits right in there. Absolutely. So, yeah. It's a good one. Yeah, it is. Thanks. All right, uh, let's Thanks, see real quick. Um, Jacob D. Hutt wanted to know, what is your favorite steel? Me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> me? <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. Um, S30. No, I honestly, I really think D2 mm. is one of my favorite steels. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not knocking higher end steels. I'm not knocking anything below a d2 but i like d2 because it's a working steel it's a i can beat on my knives i can heavily use them and sharpen them quick and they're always ready to go you know i can i can really beat like pry and cut things that i normally probably wouldn't cut with some of my nicer steel knives mm -hmm. and I can just resharpen it and it just keeps going yeah d2 is really really great especially when it's done right right, right. i mean like any steel it's not just in the name, but it's also in the heat treat, right? Absolutely. How's it getting heat treated? Yep. Oh, man, I, and and I blame Jesper Voxnes and Jan Jan Lanzo for this one. M three ninety, that's my favorite steel, and I was I, really dude, I was good. right there with you with D two, but M three ninety feels like the the D two super steel, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's definitely a little bit harder to sharpen than D two, of course. Uh, but man, it just stays sharp forever, and it's not that bad to work with. Like it's not that bad to resharpen. My my biblio, my giant mouse biblio. Oh man, like I used it for months before I had to sharpen it, and then that's it cool. really wasn't that much work to get the edit back on. So that's good. I think I think M three ninety. Well, and I feel like with steels and your favorite steel, it's kind of relative. Like, it is, and it depends it, on what you're it doing. It depends on what you're doing. It depends on the knife. Depends on the size of the blade. Yeah. You know, and so. Yeah, really. I mean, I like a huge variety of steels. I have, I own a variety oh, yeah. of steels. But yeah, I think it's just kind of relative. It's yeah. a good question though. It it's is, a really it's a great question. question. Let us know guys, what, what are your favorite steels? We'll jump down in the comments and we'll we'll, we'll uh, go back and forth with you on it. Um, all right, cool. So, oh, sorry, one more question from, from John Gemmel. He said, thoughts on the Giant Mouse Ace Biblio? Did you buy one? Yes. <laughs> I, I love it. I never regretted it. I never turned back. If you want just a stellar EDC knife, no hype, just like my honest opinion, the Giant Mouse Biblio is incredible. Go for it. And the M390 on it is just so sweet, as I just said. So See, and I anyways. don't own one. Yeah. So yeah. There you, you got to go. get one. We got a um, good opinion. All right. So, <laughs> all right, so the, last, uh, the last knife on the table uh, for best knives of summer 2019 is kind of a special one. Just pull it up. Just pull it up. Let's just do this thing. Oh man, I can't reach. <sighs> Let's do the slow reveal. Get the slow reveal. Uh... <laughs> so what's the name of it? So so I'll so, hold the box. You you give this back. This is the Microtech John Wick Production mm. Continental Cipher and UTX 70 knife set. That's right. This thing is awesome. It's got the challenge coins. You got your knives here, and let's be honest, you're paying eleven $1 hundred dollars, a little over eleven $1 hundred dollars, yeah. but you're buying that tactical pencil. You're buying the tactical pencil, and it's a sharpened tactical pencil. You know, <laughs> one time in a bar. No. <laughs> so here's the thing, guys. When the my first, like my second or third day at Blade HQ, I saw uh, not this. This is the new one. This is actually did come out the summer of 2019, but I saw the old uh, the old pack that they had of these. I went and pulled it and I had to look at it. Um, and to me, this is this is just such a fun summer type thing. It's really right? cool. It's like blockbuster movie, just a ton of fun, yeah. like just something to get. This is like the adult version of a Rambo knife. Yeah. Like full law, this is the adult version of a Rambo knife. So anyways, we had to throw it in there. Just a really fun one. Baba Yaga. <laughs> Baba Yaga. <laughs> Um, notice we didn't take it out because we don't want Mr. Wick's tools getting dirty. No, so. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want to cross him. All right. Um, okay, so on the table, what is your what do you think? What is your favorite knife for the summer? That's a big question. Ooh. That's a big question. Guys, ah, uh, I am trying so hard to pick something different. <laughs> I was gonna be that every time. But... <laughs> Let's be honest, it's me. I love the bug out. It is hands down my favorite knife. Yeah. I, and that's a bold statement because I own and love a lot of knives, but the bug out is my favorite knife. I'm just gonna own it. It's my favorite knife. Nice. And uh, 
blacked out, you just, you can't. Kurt was drooling on you this. You can't not hard. have the blackout. Yeah. So. Cool. Yep. Black bug out. That's mine. How about you? <sighs> All right. So I asked the question, so I guess I have to answer it. So there are so many great knives on the table. There are knives that I own. There are knives that I want. Um, but when I, when I look at kind of like with the, with the John Wick set was, which was for fun, right? When I look at the table and I look at what to me feels like summer, right? So it's not necessarily like my favorite knife ever, but what feels like summer off of what's on the table, I gotta go with the bull trout. Bull like, trout. Dude, it just feels like adventure. It's a good one. It just feels like summer to me. It just feels like throw this in your pack and like hit the mountains, throw this in your yeah. pack, hit the trails, do whatever, right? Um, That's cool. So I'd, I'd have to go the bull trout. What do you guys think? What would be your pick out of these for your summer knife? Yeah. We want to know. Let Put us know. Put it down in the comments. Let us know. All right, guys. So we are coming down to the end of week one Wednesday. Thank you so much for following along or for uh, tuning in if you're watch not watching this live. But if you are watching this live, as a reminder, this show is brought to you by We Knives. And uh, that doesn't mean that they tell us what to say. That doesn't tell, mean that they tell us what to put on the table. I mean, We's released a lot of knives this summer. You'll notice there was one on the table, right? Um, what it does mean is they give us awesome knives to give away to you guys for tuning in live. So this week on week one Wednesday, we are gonna be giving away the We Miscreetin'. So uh, all you have to do is hit the link down in the description Ooh. or Trevor will be uploading the link into the chat as well. Can, Click over to that, you got like 30 minutes. Can I up. submit? No, you can't, sorry. Oh, <laughs> if you're me. not seeing it, hit refresh and you'll get there. If you're not watching this live, let us know what knives have been your favorite to carry this summer. It doesn't have to be something that was new new. We want to show you guys the new new stuff. Just tell us what you, your favorite knife has been carrying this summer and what type of uh, fun summer adventures you guys have been up to. Uh, and I think that's all we got. That wraps it up. This has been a blast, guys. As always, thank you so much. Consider subscribing. Consider, consider hitting that notification bell. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.